Hey everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. Wanted to do a video on the simple way that I found to break the siphon on this aquaponic system. Uh, this is just a two inch standpipe. There's a quarter inch holes, maybe about six to eight of them at the bottom of this pipe. Um, so when the water hits the inner pipe and starts going over, it creates a suction that sucks from the very bottom. And when air gets into there, that's supposed to stop um, that suction and thus present, preventing the, uh, this uh, ebb and flow bed from draining any further. Um, now you have to kind of adjust the water flow depending on how quickly it fills up. If you do it too fast, then it never really breaks the siphon because there's always water going into those holes. Or if you do it too slow, it never really starts the siphon very well. Um, but what I found is that when you just put these uh, clay balls in there, um, these will float depending on where the water level is. And if you see, and they're the perfect size to actually block those holes at the very bottom. Uh, you can get these clay balls on Amazon. They're just the hydroponic uh, media. I think it was maybe 40 or $50 for a big bag on Amazon, so they're not too expensive. Um, you probably get 20 pounds or so um, of these. So what I've done is I just, I have this pot that stays above the water level so these balls will never go out of here because the water level, I don't know, starts about right there or whatnot. And so I basically just fill up the entire thing so there's one layer of clay pebbles, or clay balls, covering the entire thing. And hopefully soon you'll see what this will actually do. I've seen a lot of different ways on how to break the siphon. Some people have like an air uh, vacuum seal thing at the very top with a pipe running down and there's a cap on it. When the cap drops down, then it'll stop the suction or there's a lot of complicated ways to do it. Um, this seems really easy and I've done it on the other bed for a while and it's been working just fine, so I'm not really worried about it. And it's kind of just a mechanical way to always plug the holes at the bottom. So it should start any time. And so when the water level drops, it will cover the entire thing. It's actually started the suction, so the water level is dropping right now as we speak. And as soon as we get to the very bottom, we shall see how quickly this works. I tried before with just like a, maybe three or four or five of these. Um, and they kind of tended to stay on the outside of the perimeter, so now that it's kind of condensed, it should stop the suction a lot quicker, or the vacuum a lot quicker. And we got about an inch to go before it actually hits bottom. And eventually when I'm uh, done testing, I'll cover this up somehow just so that it won't have any water showing or it won't get any algae uh, building on this. So the water level is almost to the holes. And there we go. It's starting to break the suction right now. I see three or four have plugged up the sandpipe and it's done. And so assuming that the um, 
that the balls come out of the holes, which they should. As the water level gets higher, the buoyancy will come up and then they pop out. Uh, but that's basically it. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah, as long as you got the right size holes and everything, then it should be no problem and everything will just work the way it should. So thanks for watching. This is the uh, very simple way to break a siphon uh, for your aquaponics.